Why is Clomifen, the fertility drug, classed as a performance enhancing drug and why is it banned in professional sports? Short answer is it uses an indirect method to increase our testosterone levels. Here, Stewie, try this. Yeah. I have the power! Now, to understand this, we need to do a bit of pharmacology. Uh, just to point out that clomiphen is not a new drug. It was actually originally synthesized in 1956 and from the 70s, it's had widespread use as a fertility drug. Now, what clomiphen is, it's classed as a non-steroidal estrogen antagonist. Basically, it blocks estrogen receptors in a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. Now, the hypothalamus is like the brain's computer. It monitors hormone levels in the blood. What we're effectively telling the brain when we block that receptor, that estrogen receptor in the brain, we're saying there's no estrogen. So the brain panics. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. It needs to increase production. And this is how it goes about doing that. It sends a pulse of gonadotropin releasing hormone to the pituitary. And the pituitary is like a relay station, which then sends other hormones to certain glands. And what we're looking at here in the pituitary is the luteinizing hormone. So the gonadotropin releasing hormone stimulates the release of luteinizing hormone, which then travels to the testes, to the Leydig cells in the testes, and increases the production of testosterone. So by this indirect method, we have increased our production of testosterone. Because remember, we're redressing the low levels of estrogen, which we created artificially by blocking that receptor, because when the testosterone is released, it is then metabolized to estrogen, which redresses that original imbalance. So we're exploiting that negative feedback mechanism that the body uses to keep our hormones at the right physiological level. So by this indirect method of blocking the receptor in the brain, the estrogen receptor in the brain, we can increase our testosterone levels. Now, and that is why it's classed as a performance enhancing drug. <laughs> However, because we are encouraging the body to increase its own testosterone production by producing testosterone in the Leydig cells in the testes, clomiphene is useful for those men who want to take TRT and protect their fertility. Because remember, when you inject testosterone, the hypothalamus will detect that there's adequate levels of testosterone in the blood and it won't send the message to the testes. So we turn the testosterone factory in the testes off and that can negatively impact our fertility. So for those men who want to protect their fertility, that's why they take clomiphene or HCG. That's it for now. I hope that explains why clomiphen is classed as a performance enhancing drug and why it's banned. But it still does have its uses, obviously in women for fertility purposes and men who want to retain their fertility but still want to take TRT. That's it for now. Thanks. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye.